Your Excellency, Dr. Rashid Alim, on behalf of Emirates Nature in association with WWF, thank you very much for this opportunity to participate at your Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful afternoon to you all. My name is Noor Mizhir. I'm a Climate and Energy Project Manager at the Emirates Nature Association WWF. And today, I'm going, be, I'm going to be taking you through the UAE's energy transition. But first, let me tell you a bit more about who we are. About Emirates Nature. So, we are leading nonprofit organization established in the UAE. We are here to drive positive change in the, in the country to conserve our nation's natural heritage. So what's our vision? Our vision is a sustainable UAE in which our society, economy, and environment thrive side by side, enabling people to live in harmony with nature. And for us, it's very key that we do live in harmony with nature. And our mission, we are here to conserve nature and reduce the most pressing threats to the environment and for the benefit of society. So we partner with individuals and with organizations to achieve science-based solutions and combat climate change and safeguard our seas, the land, and their associated biodiversity. So we embarked on a journey within uh, Emirates Nature and we developed a five-year plan where by 2020, our goal is that the UAE government, the private sector, and civil society have made major progress, uh, progress on conserving the country's natural heritage for its future generations by increased effective conservation efforts, acting on climate change, and aligning the country's future development with the targets of the UAE Vision 2021. So as an organization, we have several pillars which we focus on, one of them, of course, being what's in our name, nature, biodiversity, marine biodiversity, and terrestrial biodiversity. We also look at climate change and energy. And we've had the question, why do you guys work on that? Because we believe that it is a threat on the livelihood of our nature, which is why it's important to tackle it. And finally, we did also briefly look at wildlife trade and its impacts. And this is all within an umbrella of education and outreach, because without the people, action can't be made. Now, I'm just going to zoom in a bit about what we do as a climate and energy team. Our goal is that by 2020, the UAE takes significant steps towards achieving a low carbon climate resilient development by increasing the deployment of renewable energy, of energy efficiency, uh, expanding sustainable transport, and addressing the climate risks. And today, I'm going to be focusing on our first objective, which is increasing the share of renewables and energy mix. And I just want to highlight that when we developed this goal, a lot of the things that I will discuss later regarding renewable energy had not been announced. So for us as an organization, it's great to see the strides that the UAE has taken from 2015 until today. But before we dive into UAE, I just want to briefly talk to you about what's happening globally on renewable energy. So here's a snapshot of 2017. And if you guys want more information on renewable energy, I got this all from the REN21 2018 Global Status Report, where you can find so many statistics on renewable energy. But these are the ones that ca got, caught my attention, and I'll share them with you. Overall, renewables accounted for 70%, not seven, not 17, 70% of net capacity addition in 2017. More solar was added online than fossil fuel and nuclear combined in 2017. Solar generation is now in the lead with regard to renewable energy investment, and a few years ago, that was not the case. Around 17 countries generated more than 90% of their energy from renewable energy. And the level of investment is huge. In 2017, a total of 310 billion US dollars were invested in renewable energy. And in the past eight years, we have seen an increase in investment in renewable energy, even though the prices have gone down drastically, especially for solar and wind. And this kind of really inspired me to share a thought with you. Like, so I realized that when I first joined, which was almost seven years ago, we used to speak of renewable energy as a future technology. It feel, felt like it was so far down the line. But globally, we now see that it is the technology of the present. 
And it's very exciting times for us globally and locally in the field of clean energy. And I'm sure as you guys are aware, we are now in COP season. And climate action is extremely critical for our future generations, but also for us. I'm sure you guys have heard of the IPCC report that was launched in uh, October. And it shows us empirical evidence of what the impacts of climate change are. It shows us what can happen if we reach two degrees by 2030 and 2050, and 1.5 degrees by 2030 and 2050. And 2030 is not very far away. So it's in our interest as well to work together and rally as a community to work towards limiting temperature rise by 1.5 degrees and make sure that low carbon is a reality. We are in a country where leadership has recognized this, 